Hey guys, so because it's National Coming Out Day, the day where, I guess, gay people come out of closets and stuff, um, I'd like to share with you, yes you, right there, my coming out story. The thing with my coming out story is, I don't have, technically, a coming out story, because I never really came out, it was just kind of there, I was always like, hey, do you like penis? And I'm like, yes, I do. Actually, no, that's a lie. In high school, every time someone, they, in high school, no one knew what I was. They thought I was gay, they thought I was straight, they were confused. So, because of this, I went along with it. And sometimes I would hit on women, sometimes I would hit on men, and it was just a mess, and it was hilarious. And then my senior year, I'm just like, I like penis, okay? I, I do. And then I'm just like, oh, gotcha. No one cared. No one ever really cared. <laughs> they were just like, oh, that's cool. And then there was a secret society of girls trying to turn me straight. Because apparently I attract women. Even some of my mom's friends are attracted to me. Which is weird. Because they're like over in their mid-30s. And older. So I attract old women. And just women in general. That's, that's great. Yay! Here's my sort of history of homosexual stuff. I guess it all started back when I remember when I was like five. Yeah, my first crush was when I was like four. On this, uh, on one of my friends I had back then. And then they moved away to Narnia or something. I never saw them again. It's sad. I didn't even know what gay was. I didn't back then. Because you're four. Who the hell knows what gay is when they're four? Every time I used to watch like Disney movies or TV shows, the guy always ends up with a girl. And I'm just like, oh, so that's how it is. Gotcha. So I tried that. And I'm just like, this sucks. Like I would say I had a crush on this girl when really I'm just like, that guy's pretty cute. And I was like eight. <laughs> so yeah. By the time I was 10, I found out what gay men it meant that you like other men, if you're a man. And if a woman, you like other women. Women. I can't talk today. Shut up. So I actually um, one day said it, I, that I was gay to my family, when they were all in a room, just like, I'm gay. I'm like, alright. I was 10 years old at the time, so I guess the first time I came out was 10. The thing that sucks is that um, my older brother used to hang out with older kids. So they always knew what gay meant, and they they were always go, that's so gay, that's so homo, blah, blah, blah. And they made being gay sound like a bad thing. And since I hung out with my brother and my brother's friends, I always thought that maybe being gay is bad. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I just shouldn't like penis. So I stopped saying that I was gay openly, and then I just let it die down. Because it's 10. No one really cares what you say when you're 10 years old, really. Which is sad, because sometimes kids say the smartest things in the world, and you will never listen to them. And then I went back to, um, just, I guess, asexual. Didn't like either sex. I mean, if someone said I had a crush on a girl, I wouldn't deny it. I'd say, sure, why not? And uh, that followed me until high school, basically. People would say, oh, you like this girl, because you guys are friends. And I'm like, alright, sure. Yeah, so I had a bunch of fake crushes for a while. Meanwhile, I had real crushes on um, other guys. One of them is, like, one of my best friends now. And that's cool. When high school came, that's when I finally just decided, just, I'm gay. That's it. I, I don't care. Fuck everyone. I know who I am, and I love who I am. And then I just like, started to mess with people's minds. They were like, hey, are you gay or not? I'm just like, maybe. Who knows? And then they're just like, I need to know. I did that with my brother and sister for like a long time. They were so confused. <laughs> I would say this girl's hot. I would say this guy's hot. And it was fun for me messing with them. It, it was great. And then when they knew I, I found out I was gay, they were like, all right, cool. And then we just started making fun of each other for like the rest of our lives. Yeah, my brother and sister are awesome people. The thing that made me really comfortable being gay was um, I met this guy in high school and uh, sophomore year, and he was he was cool. We hung out. We had this complicated, weird relationship, friendship thing, and he was the actually he was actually the guy who made me comfortable with who I was. And it's funny now because we don't talk at all anymore. And if we see each other pass by, we just ignore each other completely. Because he lives, he goes to the school. Because obviously we would go to the same school. Because 
life works out that way. I don't even know why. It's stupid. And pretty much my mom knew, and she doesn't care, because, like, I'm pretty much her gay best friend. Like, we watch Millionaire Matchmaker together. It's a good show, yeah? It's, it's fucking good. And uh, my dad, I don't... He keeps asking if I am to, like, my family members. Not to me. If he asked me, I'd say yes. But he asked my family members. I'm just like, what the fuck? And they're just like, go ask him. <laughs> like, I'm open to it. Just, I don't even talk to my dad. That's the thing. That, I would have told my dad if we had an actual close relationship. But I don't. Because I didn't even live with him. So that's basically it. That's my coming out story. And basically, if you feel like that maybe staying in the closet's a burden to you. And that you want to actually... <laughs> You want to express yourself and accept yourself for who you are, that's great. Then come out. Just It feels so much better when you do than just hiding everything inside and hiding every emotion you have. Because then you're not really being yourself. You're only being half of who you are. And just embrace all of you. For, like, it's great. It's so great when you're, like, finally just out and open. And then just live a fun life. Of course, there's going to be people who judge you. But who the fuck are they? They're not important. They're just little bastard children with daddy issues saying, You're so gay. I'm insecure about my sexuality. Yeah. Fuck them, okay? Who cares? Awesome. Because I'm awesome. I'm pretty freaking awesome. Today's pretty much Gay Fest 2011. And it's going to be fun because that's where the day where all the gay people find other gay people. And then they attack with mating rituals. And it's like Animal Channel, but gay. I wrote that as my Facebook status. So, video in my mind down there. Other fun stuff down there. And I will make another video on something awesome next time. I don't know what, yeah. So, uh, leave a comment on what you want me to talk next video. It could be anything. It could be politics. It could be entertainment. I think the next one's going to be about Spider-Man for some reason. I don't know. Just remember what Lady Gaga said. Don't be a drag. Just be a queen. Whether you're Hulk or Wolverine. I don't know the fucking song. I don't even like that song, to be honest. It's annoying. Stay awesome. I'll see you guys later, and I love you. <sighs> I love you so much. It hurts sometimes. I don't want to leave you guys. No, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay and leave. I'm gonna stay here forever with you. Oh no, I should go. But I don't wanna. Love me.